For so many years, skyscrapers have stood as a symbol of human achievement and dedication. From the Burj Khalifa to the Chrysler Building, these enigmatic structures have pushed the boundaries of design and engineering. Today, there is a new generation of skyscrapers ready to take the world by storm once again. In this video, we will dive into the top 10 tallest skyscrapers that are set to redefine the limits of human imagination and architectural wonders. You wouldn't want to miss the first, as we've saved the best for the last, because these projects get taller and taller as we approach the end. But before we dive in, click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Hyundai Global Business Center This construction is taking place in Seoul, South Korea. The first phase of development on the site began in May 2016 with the demolition of the existing KEPCO facility. The Hyundai Motor Group had planned to build a 569-meter-tall structure, but had to reduce it to 553 meters due to systemic concerns. The building complex will have a floor area of 926,162 meters and will house the new headquarters building, which will have 105 stories and a floor area of 560,443 meters. According to the draft, the building will also include a 155,082-square-meter hotel and facility building with 35 stories, a 67,768-square-meter music hall with nine floors, a 68,895 square meter convention center with six floors and a 20,006 square meter exposition hall with four floors. As originally planned, an observatory will be positioned 553 meters above Earth. The 2,000-seat concert hall will be the largest in Gangnam. According to the proposal, the Hyundai Motor Group will also construct a submerged square connecting the complex to the underground Yongdong Bridge, public open space, and a public pedestrian tunnel. As of December 2020, it was revealed that it will cost $3.4 billion to make the Hyundai Global Business Center a reality. But don't get too excited yet, as we are just getting started. Number 9. Tower M Tower M is another proposed megatall skyscraper project located within the Kuala Lumpur City Center KLCC, in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The building is now being developed as part of the revised KLCC Creation Master Plan 1995 by KLCC Property Holdings Berhad, which was also responsible for the creation of the Petronas Twin Towers. In 2012, the master plan was updated to improve the development potential of the development's remaining undeveloped parcels. The Tower M precinct would feature three office towers atop a retail podium on four acres of land adjacent to the Percy R and KLCC MRT station, formerly known as KLCC East on the future Putrajaya line. Tower M will be 700 meters or 2,297 feet tall with 145 stories. The landowner, KLCCH, announced in July 2018 that there are no immediate plans to build the office towers. If a need exists, planning is unlikely to begin until 2035. Number 8. Sky City Changsha Sky City is an 838-meter-tall skyscraper in Changsha, Hunan in south-central China. Broad, sustainable building, the prospective builders anticipated the construction would take only 90 days. The total time required was 210 days, including the 120 days required for prefabrication before on-site work began. Pre-construction operations were paused in August 2013 due to future clearances required by government officials. The project will require 270,000 tons of steel. Sustainable building technologies and autonomous research and development will be necessary for its assembly factory. The building's key advantages will be its earthquake resistance, energy efficiency, cleanliness, durability, and materials, which will include recycled business materials, non-aldehyde, non-lead, non-asbestos construction materials, and so on. Modular construction is the technique at the heart of the entire steel structure. The structure would include 6 inches 15 centimeters, of insulated walls and quadruple glazing, which would considerably improve energy efficiency. Sky City, as currently envisioned, would cost $1.46 billion. 
At $1,500 per square meter of floor space, Sky City would be significantly less expensive than the comparably high Burj Khalifa at $4,500 per square meter. Broad Sustainable Group has already paid 390 million yuan, which is about $63 million, for 67,300 square meters or 724,000 square feet of land. Number 7. Oblisco Capital the Oblisco Capital is one other remarkable futuristic skyscraper proposed for Egypt's new administrative capital. It was unveiled in 2018 as part of Egypt's Vision 2030 to become the world's tallest tower at 1,000 meters. Oblisco Capital, as envisaged, will contain 165 houses, hotel flats, and units of varying sizes. Several hotels, shopping malls, cinemas, residences, leisure facilities, commercial hubs, and medical centers are also proposed. The architecture of the tower is influenced by both pharaonic and art deco influences. The dimensions of the Oblisco Capital are inspired by Egyptian obelisks. Louvers, influenced by the Art Deco style, rotate according to the sun's inclination, decreasing heat during the day. The Nile River is portrayed in the project's design via the canal that connects the project's land corners. The pattern on the tower's exterior is based on an Egyptian lotus blossom motif utilized during the pharaonic era. Number 6. Burj Mubarak Al Kabir Tower Kuwait surprised the world when it announced the building of the Burj Mubarak Al Kabir. This surprise stemmed mostly from the fact that the skyscraper will cost a whopping 25 billion Kuwaiti dinars, and it will stand 1,001 meters high, which surpasses the height of the Burj Khalifa. The project is expected to cover an area of about 250 square kilometers and will also include residential, commercial, and recreational facilities, plus a massive central park. The enigmatic building will have a total number of 234 floors, with enough space to house 7,000 people. The choice of design for this project is said to have been inspired by a traditional Islamic minaret, and it's expected to be completed in the space of 25 years. Number 5. Sky Mile For so many years, Tokyo architects have imagined a massive structure joining the beaches of Tokyo Bay. This is because the city's population is rapidly increasing and there isn't enough land to accommodate everyone. Following this dream, the Sky Mile Tower was introduced. The Sky Mile Tower, which will be erected on water, will turn the less efficient horizontal growth of urban life into a more land-efficient vertical rise. It will stand 1,700 meters tall, more than twice as tall as the world's tallest structure, the Burj Khalifa. This massive structure is part of the next Tokyo concept, which depicts a thriving city that can adapt to climate change. The Sky Mile Tower will have 421 stories and a floor area of approximately 4.5 million square feet. The Sky Mile Tower is a key component of Next Tokyo 2045, which includes an archipelago of reclaimed land serving over 500,000 people. Number 4. Dubai City Tower When you think about Dubai, you think about tall skyscrapers and architectural marvels that have never been seen before. So it's no surprise that it ranks among the first five tallest futuristic skyscrapers. Aside from the Burj Khalifa, which already holds the title of the tallest standing skyscraper in the world, the Dubai City Tower, also known as the Dubai Vertical City, is another massive skyscraper that promises to do better than the Burj Khalifa. The ultra-tall tower is intended to accommodate a city of tens of thousands of permanent people. The skyscraper was designed to be 7,875 feet or 2,400 meters tall to exhibit cutting-edge future construction methods. After the Tokyo Tower of Babel, Xseed, and the Ultima Tower, the Dubai City Tower is the fourth tallest proposed construction. In fact, the Dubai City Tower has a height of 8,686 feet or 2,648 meters when the spire is included. Number 3. The Ultima Tower The Ultima Tower is a two-mile tall, one-mile wide building that will be created to safeguard the environment from overdevelopment. 
The Ultima Tower will be the tallest structure ever built in the United States. It stands around 11,000 feet, 3,353 meters tall. The tower is a futuristic skyscraper project that will cost $210 billion to build and will be located in San Francisco Bay, California. Eugene Tsui is the tower designer and it is nearly double the height of the popular Grand Canyon. It is also four times taller than the current world's tallest structure, the Burj Khalifa. The Ultima Tower has a total of 500 stories. Because of its tensile, trumpet-bell-shaped design, it is both strong and aerodynamic, making it an excellent choice for exceptionally tall buildings. Number 2. Exceed 4000 The Exceed 4000 is one of the most anticipated skyscrapers. It is intended to have a 4-kilometer or 2.5-mile height, 6-kilometer or 3.7-mile sea base, and 800-floor capacity to house 500,000 to a million people. Over 3 million tons of steel would be used to construct this structure. Unlike traditional skyscrapers, the Exceed 4000 will actively shield its occupants from significant internal and exterior air pressure gradations and weather fluctuations caused by its vast elevation. Its design asks for the use of solar energy to keep internal environmental conditions stable. Here's the issue with this project. The Exceed 4000 will be vulnerable to earthquakes and tsunamis due to its projected location in the Pacific Ring of Fire, the world's most active volcano area. This worry has made proponents of the project question whether it will still take place. At 2,004 meters, the Exceed 4000 is expected to be twice the height of the Shimizu Megacity Pyramid. Number 1. Tower of Babel the Tokyo Tower of Babel is the world's tallest projected structure. It was inspired by the Biblical Tower of Babel, a skyscraper that could reach the heavens, and it was first proposed in 1992. This Tower of Babel would be 10 kilometers tall, with the main goal of population support, as this area could house up to 30 million people. It will most likely take over 100 years to complete and would cost 3 trillion yen, $27.2 billion. The Tokyo Tower of Babel, which will be built on land, will feature several buildings that will be used for a variety of functions. Because it's on land, it won't corrode as quickly as the Shimizu Megacity Pyramid or Exceed 4000. Its architecture is going to be built of suction cup-like structures on land that link to upper levels that are similar in form and connect to higher floors, all kept secure by a large, wide support in the middle, providing high stability for such a tall structure. The floor's various uses were mostly for residential and commercial purposes. The 1 to 3 kilometer sections are intended for office and hotel facilities, while the 3 to 6 kilometer floors are intended for education, administration, and recreation. The uppermost portions are reserved for industrial, experimental research, and base facilities, while the very top of the building is reserved for space exploration and solar energy. For the time being, it will be the tallest future skyscraper on the planet. But for how long? Which of these skyscrapers do you anticipate the most? In our previous video on the most expensive construction mistakes in the world, we unraveled jaw-dropping mistakes that cost fortunes and shook the very foundations of renowned projects. Click the video you see on the screen now to discover the mind-boggling missteps that not only drained resources but also left lasting lessons for the industry.